What's up, guys? I'm John, and here's my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Yes, that's right. Me and my beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys new tips, tricks, and things to excite, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. And we've got some of these tricks from being in a relationship on our marriage for 16 years, having kid, you know, doing all that. Plus, we've had different friends around us that have went through all kinds of crazy stuff. And they always come to us. For some, are, some are married, some are single, some are divorced. So we got all that great information too. And all gathered, like we're like just this mega AI machine for relationship advice <laughs> coming AI. towards you guys. Like <laughs> chat GPT, mm, let's go to Cupid's Corner. Doot, doot, doot. They're gonna give you all the insight that you guys need. Like so, it. you know, every, every, uh, every Sunday we're bringing you guys this great information. So if you guys don't know, tune in and make sure you guys are going to our YouTube too as well and subscribing there so you guys can see all of these episodes in their full entirety and uh, you know, ABC on Sundays, 11 a.m.? But let's get into it. Here we are, Here we 11 a.m. on a Sunday. So, uh, <laughs> so basically, you know, this week we want to talk about communication. And we talk about communication every single episode, mm -hmm. right? But there's different form of communication. And if you're communicating, are you communicating? And are they receiving the information that you are communicating? I told John, listen, that you people like to hear real life things right you it's great when we tell you guys like oh do this and do that and go do this and do that and make sure you take to dinners and make time for yourself and you know go lock yourself in the room with each other while you know you lock the dogs up or whatever we decide to say right however this is like a real life scenario because me and john are real people at the end of the day I know we look like, you know, these, everything's so perfect in our Titan life. However, we are also real, okay? And we have real life things that happen to us every single day, just like you guys. So um, I told John the other day, you know, when we had this situation happen, after the situation, I was like, listen, we need to mention this on Cupid's Corner because we always talk about communication, but I don't believe... I could be wrong because we have a lot of episodes, but I don't believe that we actually have given you guys an example like, hey, this is what happened. This is what took place. So I'll tell you guys what happened because I love telling stories. Anyways, so it's, um, I believe, Friday night. This is just this past Friday night. And, you know, we're, uh, you know, doing our thing and, you know, trying to relax and chill out because it's been like the longest two weeks of our life between, obviously, I'm sure you guys understand the hurricane. Um, and, you know, we had to go to Olympia in Las Vegas and try to manage everything from out there and, you know, so forth. But I think we're both under like an incredible amount of stress, right? And obviously we're together all the time. So we try not to bite each other's faces off and we try to understand each other. So we were in the room and I forget what it was that I was talking to him about specifically. But he was like, you know, and it's probably just because I was, I've been doing this, you know, I, I talk a million miles a minute and sometimes he gets in the crossfires of like when I'm talking to staff and then I got to talk to John for like five minutes, right? And it's like almost like I have to like, it's literally like an on and off switch and I have to take the switch and go off and then talk to John and then go back on and then talk to the staff and be like, Rawr! you know, so it's a real thing. I uh, trust me. So anyways, um, sometimes it's hard for me to turn the switch off and so forth. So I got to come to that realization too. Anyways, he had told me, he's like, hey, listen, he's like, you know, this is kind of, I, I would forget what it was again, but he said, this is kind of what I'm talking about, you know, that you're kind of disregarding what I'm saying. I'll give you, I'll tell you exactly you what remember? it was. Yeah, she was telling me like, all what right, well, what time us? do you want to go to dinner? And like, what do you want, what time do you want to arrive here? And like, wait. Oh, to get your dad like some help and right? stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, well, this is what I want to do. I do it like this. And then she'll come back and she'll, she'll say it totally different, like, totally different. I'm like, Wait, hold on. Didn't I just tell you what it was? Didn't I do? just tell you what I want to do? So why are you even asking me about <laughs> what I want when you just divert to back what, what you're going to default to? And I'm That's like, what, what, what is what is this? Like, if I'm it, if you ask me for something or hey, listen, what do you want to do here? And I tell you what I want to do, and then it comes back, you know, you're firing back like, oh, well, why would we do it like this? We're just going. I'm like, well, why even ask me? Right. But what he didn't understand, which I had to explain, he didn't understand is that I have like 
50 variables that I have to put together where everybody's schedule makes sense, right? Because I got to do his schedule. I got to do his dad's schedule. I got to do Peter's schedule. I got to figure out who's picking up, who dropping off, who taking people here and there, whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, if you want to do this, this won't make sense because of this, right? So anyways, going back to the communication portion of this, is that he explained to me, right? Cause he, maybe this has been building up for, I don't know how long, but he, he, tell, <laughs> he tells me, Hey, like, this is annoying me. Can you please stop doing this? And then, you know, listen, in any other situation, the, re the, the responding party could have been like, what do you mean? Like, uh, and just flip out. Right. I mean, you, you could react that way. And I have definitely reacted that way on many occasions. It has taken me roughly a decade to get to here. Um, so, you know, it's taking a lot of practice, patience, understanding. You might have to bite your tongue. You know, like there's things that you might, you might need to process what your partner is saying for two seconds before you just react. Cause I do react off emotion. It's not good, but I do react off emotion. So I, I had a second and I'm like, okay, let me not, let me not react. And then I'm like, okay. So I think I walked away for like two seconds and then I came back because I'm not going away for very long. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, so listen, I'm like, I'm trying to make everybody happy. This is what's happening. I explained it to him. And then him on his side, he could have still been in like his angry mode or he wasn't really angry, but frustrated mode and just came back at me and fired back. Right. But he didn't, he was like, oh, okay. I understand. Like, you know, and here we are like, understanding each other mm -hmm. we're talking to each other we're communicating with each other we're telling each other if something frustrates us we're coming up with a solution if there is a problem or a frustration and this is how you communicate it's such a great example i think that's a little bit more than communicating though because communicating is them understanding you and then after that is how you handle the reaction of that right or what you do react towards and then at that point communicating is good now you guys are understanding which is great and then at that point being able to resolve is a whole different thing yeah true it, it's kind of like you know i mean at that point like sometimes you know you find the middle of the you know of the the argument and you kind of you know agree on that or it might go the other way or the other I, I guess like you know i might agree with her and just like you know let's do it like that or vice versa so i think it takes a little bit more than just communicating to really have that deep communication yeah. from resolution, because right? You have to you have to add on the, the, these these parts. They resolution just doesn't levels. come. It, yeah, communicating about I hate your guts. I hate you. And then you, you don't do have this. a resolution. Yeah, well, I hate when you do this. Uh, you know, what do you want me to do? And then you're like, all right. And then I don't know. I guess I'm just like that. See you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, the resolution. Like, I mean, like, listen, like, I, I get a lot of people where they're telling me, oh, my partner snores. I've heard that quite a bit lately. All you have to do Partner is put a pillow stores. over their face. What do I do? I don't want to leave the room. I don't want to leave them. I really love them, but I don't want to leave them. I'm like, well, you got to find some sort of resolution. You know, there's all types of different things out there. Maybe they need to lose weight. Maybe they need a sleep apnea machine. Maybe they have like those things. I guess you put in your throat, your nose, whatever. And that's just an example, right? Like if there's a, a problem in the relationship, and especially if it's something that's really little, but something really little can just keep nagging at you. Right? Picking and picking and picking, and then you finally blow up. And then it might lead down another path of what you the guys, rabbit hole of you guys didn't want to argue about <laughs> or didn't want to think about. And at that point, that that's the argument now on the table. So, you know, it's just it's uh, it's it's key to communicate and understand where your partner's coming from, and and take a moment, right? And even if it does piss you off or make you very emotionally <laughs> mad, um, at that point, take a breather and then come back to the conversation. Where you're a little bit more level headed. You're not running off emotion. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do it. So, but that's just but our way it. of communicating, right? We did it. And we can do it. And so can you. See? So whether you're in a relationship right now, you know, you guys can always enhance that communication. Or if you're not in a relationship, you know what? For the next one, make sure you are the communicator that you want to be. And you find the, the, the receiver that you want to communicate to. So that is it for our show. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. We break down some more things for you, but this gives you some. What do you mean? We some, always some, have time. You can tune in next Sunday at 11 a.m. That's right. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Here on ABC. And we'll be back to give you such yep. great information. And remember, if you can't watch it live, DVR it or go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and watch all our great episodes. We appreciate all you guys. We love you guys. And we'll be back with another Cupid's Corner next week, ABC 11 a.m. 
Like I said, you can catch us anytime on any social media platform. Just type in Titan Medical Center. You'll see me and Sharice there. We'll see you guys later. See ya.